W-E-R-W, Real College Radio. Good morning, Syracuse. This is Jim Coleman, and you're listening to W-E-R-W. I'm here in the studio this morning with Grace Doty, a pop rock singer from New York. How are you doing today, Grace? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, is this your first time in Syracuse? It is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. Yeah? Easy <laughs> ride for you? Yeah, yeah, somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> I got pulled over on the way here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of a lot of super troopers on the way up. Yeah, seriously. Oh, he was, I, ni- he was I, nice, though. I hope he let you off easy. He did, yeah. <laughs> all right, that's good. That's, that's all that counts. <laughs> yeah. Um, so to get things started, Grace, yeah. s- tell me a little bit about yourself. Where did you get started? You know, What are your roots in music? Yeah, well, I come from a really musical family. My mom is one of seven, and they're pretty much all musicians. Um, my Uncle John is a professional jazz musician. And uh, he's a drummer. And so he kind of, you know, he kind of got me started on, like, recording, you know, the music that I started writing when I was, like, 16. Um, But all through school, like, when I was in elementary school, I did all the school plays and stuff. And then, uh, you know, I started kind of gigging out and doing, like, acoustic sets when I was, like, 16. That's when I picked up a guitar and taught myself and started writing. Yeah, like mm-hmm. coffee houses, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. And I would I would kind of do, like, I'd play the intermission during my uncle's shows, you oh, know. There you to, go. Yeah. <laughs> So you so you were exposed pretty young then. Um, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, so I heard a little rumor that <laughs> at the age of eight or so, it was already noticeable that you could sing with perfect pitch. That's what they tell me. That's <laughs> my grandma and my mom uh, would kind of like listen to me as not even eight, like when I was an infant. They would hear me humming, and they like to say that I started singing before I started talking. Huh. And uh, they'd hear me humming songs, and they'd be like, what is that? Like, they, they didn't know what it was, and they were like, is that coming from the baby? That's so <laughs> weird. Like, and they were like, she's totally in key. It's, it's, they didn't know whether to be scared or proud at Yeah, first. exactly. <laughs> they were like, what is this? Is this an alien? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. No, that's really cool, though. Yeah. Um, so you said you're self-taught. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, yeah. I feel like that's... Uh, it's always a good way to go, you know, because then you're not you're not bound to the rules. If yeah, that's exactly what I always say. I, I always say that, you know, I started taking piano lessons when I was like, I want to say maybe 12 or something. And lessons get boring to me. They move too slowly and I can't explore, you know. Yeah. So uh, so I, I kind of took the book and taught myself piano. And then when I realized, uh, you know, guitar makes a lot more sense to take around with you to play, you know, mm. I was like I had one laying around my house and I picked it up and uh, looked up a few chords online. And then just went from there, and now it's a total passion for me. And I would say, I feel like if someone taught me, it would have lost the magic a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Why read sheet music when you can read tablature, right? Exactly. You know, it's it's that much easier. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. No, but that's good. You know, definitely, uh, and you you could definitely tell in your music how it's, you know, it's that unique. It's that. Okay. Oh, thank you. Definitely, you know. Thank you. you Tell you about you exploring the yeah yeah music realm. (laughs) Thanks. Um, So. I know you said you started performing pretty young, getting mm-hmm. into the you know the coffee house scene. You do yeah. the intermission at your uncle's shows, but yeah. was there a point where, you know, you said, "I really like this. You know, I want to do this. Like, I want to, you know, make this my lifestyle. Start performing a lot." Yeah, I I I kind of you know my entire life, as far as I can remember, I always knew that I wanted to to do this, you know, as my job. Um, when I was in like fifth grade, I remember. My our fifth grade teacher like going around the classroom asking what everybody wanted to be, and everyone was like, "I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer." And this sounds like one of those made-up stories. It's like, "Oh, this is like," but it's actually true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I said, "I want to be the kind of singer that makes CDs." Well, there you go. <laughs> As opposed to the kind of singer who doesn't. Well, I was my my whole thing was everybody was like you should be on Broadway because I would do all the plays right. and I was like no I don't want to be on Broadway I want to make CDs. <laughs> <laughs> so as my like nine year old self that's that's what I wanted to do so yeah I always knew. Did you have a history in theater kind of musical theater before or? Um not not so much you know I went to I went to public uh, elementary and middle school and they had. A theater thing going on and I you know got the I was played the leads and all of those like I played Adelaide and Guys and Dolls and stuff like that um, but I actually went to a private high school so we didn't have that but that's kind of when I started uh, gigging out and also we had like a what we called an arts house cafe right. which was you know just more chill and kind of like you know get up and sing a few songs so that kind of got me started you know singing uh, like the coffee house style hmm. stuff you know 
Well, if you're ever back in the area, we got a place just like that, Funkin' Waffles over on. Oh, awesome. I, you know, I think I passed Park. that, and I was like, that looks cool. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Open mics every Wednesday. Oh, really? Yeah, check it out. Sweet, yeah. <laughs> totally. I'd come see you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so, I want to talk a little bit about your style, your style yeah. of playing. And I was watching a bunch of your videos, listening to a bunch of your music the past few days, and... Um, I like, you know, it's almost like a sort of simplicity to your playing, you know, finger picking, yeah. and you know, I really like that. You know, it's simple, yeah. but it it allows your, you know, I think it allows your voice to come through a lot more. Um, Thanks. I'm a big fan of finger picking. That's I play similar. Me I'm, too. Yeah. Obviously, it's working a lot better for you than it is for me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but um, you know, what is there something that makes you, you know. Are you more partial to that style as opposed to conventional playing for any specific reason? or? Yeah, you know, I the whole reason I kind of picked up the guitar at all was, you know, A, for, you know, the ease of being able to bring it around, but also because I wanted to be able to accompany myself. Hmm. So I kind of, the, the whole way that I ended up learning was how to complement my voice rather than kind of just play guitar separately right, and then right. also sing, you know? Yeah. It, was, it was kind of a, you know sort of a means to an end kind of but at this point it, it's kind of taken a life of its own my guitar playing like yeah. I'm it's such a huge separate passion but um yeah when I first started and when I first wrote uh all the songs on my EP stuff for my brain it that's kind of what I was thinking I was like you know this is to complement my voice but I'm a singer first you right know? yeah so I would do kind of like arpeggiated chords and you know kind huh. of simpler things um like that to just complement what I was singing. Right, kind of yeah. like a dual alternative sort of harmony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of, yeah. But, um, so, obviously, your popularity has been growing. Um, I wanted to talk about your At Last performance at a James. I know it was a, a big moment for you back in 2008, kind of oh, breakthrough. Oh, yeah, 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 the Apollo. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What a Yeah, that was neat. That was, you know, they do the... Um, the amateur night at the Apollo thing and uh, you know I went to this huge open audition and you know it's a, they have a line going out the door going all the way around Harlem and you have to get there at like three in the morning or else there's no way they'll see you so me my mom and my aunt and uh, my mom's friend they all came down and we camped out on the sidewalk and I was you know I was was I 17 or something and uh, I was a little scared, <laughs> you know, it's in Harlem, you're at three in the morning and you're camping out on the side of the road, but, uh, you know, I, I got in and, uh, you know, I had my audition and, uh, you know, I, I got I got through to, you know, actually sing at the Apollo, because tons of people, you know, they just turn away, and I didn't realize it was going to be as big of a turnout as it was, um, so that was really, really cool, and then I ended up advancing pretty far into the you know, I made it through, I think there's four rounds, I made it through three, and then the last round, um, one of the groups I was up against, I was the youngest of the group, it was all adults, and I was the youngest one, and one of the groups there brought two, like, uh, tour buses of people to sit in the audience and boo oh, everybody wow. else. And you know the Apollo, if you get booed, they kick you off the stage. Yeah, <laughs> it's not just like, oh, that sucks, you know, and <laughs> they're like, they come out and they drag you off. So uh, every single person that came out before this group got booed right off the stage. But um, it was kind of like my, my, you know, my moment to kind of, I don't know, retaliate. Yeah. When they first started booing, I figured out where they were in the audience, and I walked over to them on stage, and I sang <laughs> right at them. And, you know, that made them kind of angry. And they stopped for a second, but towards the end of the song, they booed me off. They booed everybody off. Aww. So, it's But I fair. made it through, like, three rounds uh, in the top three of the competition so that was awesome we're positive you would have went farther if it wasn't for those cheaters i <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow i know i thought that was kind of crazy huh uh, yeah yeah survival of the fittest i guess i know but, uh, yeah seriously it's brutal uh, so you said your uncle does a lot of production and stuff he's been mm -hmm. helping you yeah um did he produce, he said he produced your album? Yeah, he produced my EP. He has kind of, you know, he's a professional musician, so he has a studio um, kind of in his basement. And uh, that's where he's he's recorded all of his records. Hmm. And, um, you know, so he he's, he's awesome. He just let me record everything there. And, you know, he worked with me and taught me so much, you right. know. And, uh, yeah, so, so that's what He, he engineered the whole thing himself? Mm -hmm. He engineered, he mixed it all. He produced, you know, some of the MIDI instruments that we used, uh, you know, some of the synth stuff and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I caught a little glimpse of the studio in your vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did a vlog of that, yeah. 
<laughs> it was pretty cool. You, you should, we got to see some more of those. It's a good video. Yeah, good I'm video. vlogging today, actually. <laughs> I just I was just vlogging out there in the uh, waiting oh, there, area. There yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Good cool. stuff. Um, so, obviously, you're here today because of your YouTube presence. Um, so, when exactly did that emerge? You know, when did you, you know, start really pushing YouTube, making yourself known. Right. Um, I started YouTube in like 2009, which is the year I graduated high school. And uh, I knew I wanted to get into the music business, but I, I wasn't really sure, you know, when, you, when you're fresh out of high school and you, you're like, I'm not going to college because I'm taking a gap year because I want to really, you know, pursue this. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't really know where to start. So I saw a couple people doing covers on YouTube, and they were getting all these views and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I, I could do that. And, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so I started my YouTube channel, and you know, a lot of uh, a lot of the following that I've gained was you know through word of mouth, and then people um, you know in like the beauty community and stuff using my songs in their videos. You know, people with like a hundred thousand subscribers, just like ridiculous. Um, you know, they would kind of like play my songs in the background of their videos and then like link me in the down bar and then send their subscribers my way. So if they liked what they heard in the video, they'd go check me out. Yeah, so that's, that's good. what kind of yeah. So you refer to them as, as the beauty community? Yeah, yeah. that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of what they call themselves. They do like uh, like fashion videos and like makeup tutorials and like all girly stuff. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Why not then? I, yeah. Get you in a commercial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I know your channel on YouTube, Grace Sings. Mm -hmm. That's you know, it's really your biggest following where you gained a lot of popularity. But why um, why YouTube as opposed to, you know, Facebook with like the artist page or, you know, the band feed or anything like that, Reverb mm -hmm. Nation? Yeah, um, I'm on all those sites, but mostly, you know, I think people really connect with YouTube because they're watching you. You know, on, on Facebook, it's like you can post videos and stuff, but it's not the main, uh, you know, stuff that you're putting out there. You, that's a lot of posts, a lot of pictures, but I think people like to you know, feel like they're sitting across from you. And, you know, I do a lot of my videos just like sitting in my room, like playing the guitar on my floor, you know? So right, I, I think right. people relate to that and they like to watch it, you know? So I think that's that's what people uh, people enjoy from my YouTube channel. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, yeah. it's a really uh, personal kind of... Yeah, it's kind of a little yeah, more interactive. Let's people connect yeah. with you. Yeah, totally. Um, so I know you write a lot of your own music, mm -hmm. but you also have some very popular covers. Yeah on your on your page um how do how does writing how does covering those songs you know help your publicity a little bit like how do you you know do you use those to your advantage is that kind of like a you know yeah. a tool to connect with people yeah even more or? i do it's um you know i kind of a lot of people on youtube will sort of go the route of covering whatever is kind of really, really popular. I do that to an extent, but I won't cover something that I that I don't love, you know? Right. So um, I think it, I think people can tell when I love what I'm singing, and, you know, it's also popular, so that's a plus. So a lot of people are searching it. A lot of people are, you know, clicking on it and whatnot, and there's all these related videos and stuff. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I link people directly to my original music, and a lot of people, you know, will tell me, you know, I, oh, I found your stuff because I saw your cover of Someone Like You or, you know, your yeah. cover of Justin Bieber, which is one of the ra really popular ones, which is so random. But, uh, huh. you know, he's – Beliebers, they're, they're a wild crowd. The Beliebers. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> well, my favorite was the Begin Again one, the Taylor Swift Oh, cover. thank you. That was – Thank you. I'm a big fan of her. Yeah. Oh, my little sister loves her. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, she's great. Kara's a huge fan, too. Kara Dolan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, she's right up in Bieber territory, so. Yeah. In Canada. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, is, I mean, is there any way, you know, that you gauge, you know, your covers? Is there, like, a you know, is it, like, a career move kind of, like, okay, you know, it's time for me to – you know, drop a cover because it's been so long since my right. last original or is um, it just kind of, you know, is it a f free minded thing? Or? Yeah, it's a little more free minded. I honestly, I should probably pay more attention to like, oh, I haven't posted a cover in like a month or something because, you know, I get super busy if I'm playing a lot of shows and right, rehearsing right. with my band and stuff. But um, yeah, you know, I, I would like to say, oh, yeah, no, I plan it, but I really don't. It's kind of like if I have a free day and there's a song that's been in my head or mm -hmm. something I've been hearing that I'm like, oh, I should really cover that. Um, 
then I'll do it. And, you know, like I said before, I think people can tell when you're loving what you're singing as opposed to, like, I'm singing this because it's, you know, top 40 right now and definitely. a lot of people will search it, you know. Definitely. I, I definitely, I mean, I'll do that too, but, but not just that. I won't yeah. cover something that I don't like. So who would you say would be, you know, some of your bigger influences for these covers or for... Uh, even your style in general, you know, who's yeah. who your inspiration? So. Um, that's a good question. I always have I always have trouble uh, answering that question because cover wise, I think I tend to just really, really mix it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I couldn't really say that I cover like one person all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as like my original material and my style in general, um, I'm a huge John Mayer fan because I really, I love that, you know, he's, he's one of the greatest guitarists of our generation. And, um, but he also does the singer songwriter thing. Right, and, right. you know, I'm, I'm not the best guitarist in the world, but that's kind of one of my goals. Like I really want to, I really want to hit that huh. level. And I feel like there aren't that many girls who are doing that and, you know, playing blues guitar and, yeah. and also doing like pop stuff, you know? So, um, so yeah, he's a huge influence. I also, I really love, uh, you know, Crosby, Stills and Nash and the Beatles and Pink Floyd and Pink Floyd. yeah, Incredible. David Gilmore is like the wall. my, I, yeah, totally, man. Oh. Um, and, uh, you know, all, all those guys, that's, that's kind of stuff that I grew up listening to. Ricky Lee Jones is another huge influence huh. of mine. Um, so it's, you know, a lot of old, <laughs> older people. I, I grew up listening to a lot of what my mom liked, James Taylor, you know, there stuff you like that. Yeah. So you, I think you can hear it. Um, I think you can hear that it's kind of, you know, my, my roots are kind of in, in uh, classic classic style of rock a little bit, but I, you know, I do kind of the more pop thing, too. I mean, you probably, you know, get a lot of that, too, from your family, which is so music, yeah. as you said. Yeah, you know, Definitely absolutely. that bluesy jazz kind of feel from your uncle, yeah, I guess. Yeah, definitely. My, yeah. Uncle's, my uncle does jazz, and then I have another uncle who's a fantastic blues guitarist. There you go. So, yeah. Uh, John Mayer. Yeah. I've been trying to teach myself why Georgia. I can't. Oh, I just I just taught my boyfriend that. Uh, uh, yeah, teach me that. I can't do it. It's actually not that hard. <laughs> it's not it's not too hard once you like get it down to muscle memory. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Just, I don't know. I feel like my fingers don't bend that way. Yeah, you know, that I happens can, uh. if you if you just practice a lot. You know, I have I've had times where like my fingers have literally been bleeding or like oh, I can't yeah. pick up salt for a week like <laughs> it's anything like they're so sore. I just practice all the time. I just blame it on the strings. It's not me, it's a strings. Yeah, no, it's probably it's, the strings, you're right. It's definitely yeah, the strings. Yeah, no, it's definitely the strings. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're a top six finalist in Talent, the casting call. Yeah, you yeah. You want to tell us a little bit about that, what that is? Yeah, sure. Um, that was uh, a competition run by um, Alloy TV, which does, like, Pretty Little Liars and, you know, those ABC Family shows, and uh, Jive Records, Jive Sony. Um, they kind of you know, set out looking for girls uh, to audition in a show hmm. for, uh, for, a part, for a scripted series, for a part in a scripted series. Um, so I was one of the six girls who got to go out to LA and film the uh, casting process type thing, you know. Um, it, was, it was a really, really cool experience. I finished like, I wanna say fourth, I think? Yeah, fourth, hmm. and the girl who won is so talented. Um, and she was in the series. And it was fantastic, and yeah, it was it was really really cool. It was the first time I'd ever been to Hollywood. Yeah. Um, it was a great experience. Did you like LA? I loved it. Yeah. Oh, I've never been. Yeah, totally. I want to move there probably eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better than Westchester. I don't know. Westchester is the best Chester. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. I like that. You should should trademark that. I think someone <laughs> someone else has trademarked that <laughs> in the 90s or something. I don't know. New single. West Chester's West the best Chester. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it sounds go. like it needs to be a rap single, though. Like, yeah. that doesn't sound like... No one said you can't rap over guitar. That is true. I know, you, got, true. I know you have it in you. I've tried before, honestly. I've tried to do the uh, Eminem's verse in, like, um, Love the Way You Lie Part 2 okay. by Rihanna. But and I was like, oh, yeah, I could totally do this, like an acoustic thing. And I tried. I did it for my mom. She was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta shove a lot of words into a little space. I know that's yeah. another thing that I really, I really would like to learn to rap at least decently. <laughs> it's just I don't know. It's a, such a cool art. Like we were talking about Tyler the Creator earlier. Yeah. You know, people who people can just rap so well, and it annoys me that I can't. So. <laughs> maybe I mean maybe if you do pick up rap, just change your style a little bit. Tyler the Creator. Is, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't know. He's scary. I think he's, I think he is scary. You seem a lot nicer than he is <laughs> to, to me, at least. I don't know. 
it might seem that way, <laughs> but when I said when I start spitting my verses, <laughs> super hot fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. We're having fun today. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um. So. The first original demo song, Let Go of Me, mm -hmm. I loved it. Thought oh, it was thank incredible. You. Thank you. Um, now, was that on your album? Yeah, your EP? that's Stuff? on my EP. Yep. And that's titled Stuff From My Brain. Yes, Stuff From My Brain. What was the thought process behind that? Um, there wasn't much. No? It, <laughs> no, there, was, there really was. Um, you know, I was, it, it started, I was, I was really just thinking, you know, I want to just get something out there. Of my original stuff, you know, I, I originally thought I was going to do just an acoustic thing, and it kind of turned into more of more of an album. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, the in, the entire time I was thinking, you know, I want to name this something that is, tell you know, that lets people know that I wrote all of it right, before right. they look in the back and see all songs written by Grace Doty. You know, yeah. like I want it to be, um, I, I want that to jump out, and I was like, "How can I do that? What can what can I say without sounding totally cheesy?" You know, and I was like, "Let's just sound really cheesy." And <laughs> and I was driving in the car with my mom one day. I think we were we were coming home from some family thing, and it just and you know we were talking about. It. I was like, "You know, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to name my EP, and I can't really, you know, because here's my criteria. And also, also um, all the songs are a little serious, and I'm not a serious person, and I kind of wanted that to show through a little bit because it it occurred to me that. You know, they all have really heavy kind of themes hmm. and stuff. And, you know, I, I wanted to let my sense of humor come through somehow, you know. Right, but right. But the, the, the songs were already written and recorded. It was too late, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I was, I was kind of like, you know, so I'm driving in the car with my mom. And I was like, you know, what should I name it? And she was like, you know, bouncing ideas back and forth. I was like, I feel like I should just name it Stuff From My Brain, just like Stuff. And she was like, yeah, you should. I was like. Yeah, I should. <laughs> so that's that's what happened. All great thinking happens in the car. Yeah, yeah. totally. And, and the shower. And the shower. That's car true. And the shower. That's yeah, where all, absolutely. All great ideas are born. Yep. Um, well, that's good though. It's good that I mean you have you know your family so so much behind you and backing you and helping yeah, you out. Yeah, they're you know? extremely supportive. It's fantastic. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So you have you know some odd fifty original songs or so. At this point, probably like 60, yeah. On piano yeah. and guitar. Mm -hmm. um, will we, does that mean, you know, we'll be seeing another EP or an album anytime soon? Or Yeah. yeah. I, um, I'm working on recording uh, a new single that um, I'm actually probably going to play live for the first time tonight okay. at, uh, at the Jabberwocky show. But um, it's called Noise, and uh, that's kind of, you know, the, the, with the first EP... That was really me just like put it, dipping my feet in the water, kind of yeah. like, you know, it was my first uh, kind of round of writing songs. And, um, you know, I, I was really interested in doing both the pop rock and like really acoustic, like just a guitar, you know, type right, thing. Right. Um, and now I'm really kind of moving into a little more of the hard rock thing. So, um, you know, my, my songwriting style has not completely changed, but it's definitely evolved a little bit. Mm. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on, you know, doing that new single and then, you know, I'm going to be releasing that and promoting that like crazy. And then we'll see about, you know, extra stuff. You're going to break that Stratocaster out later? Yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have, I have this like secret sort of goal, but I keep purposely telling <laughs> people. So I have to stick to it that like on my next album, I'm going to play all the solos myself, but you know, <laughs> I, I know such fantastic guitarists that it just seems like a shame for me <laughs> to do it. But I, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm kind of an overachiever. <laughs> so you know, I'd really, I'd really like to do that at some point. But it would be nice if I could do it on the next album. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And you think you could give us a little bit of a sneak peek background on the new single, or is on that the new single? Um, like what? Like tell you what it's about, or yeah, kind of your inspiration. Yeah. Or? Um, you know. It, it's kind of delving into a little bit of the darker side of my personality. Um, it, you know, the the main line in the song and the chorus is "There's too much noise without you," and it's kind of saying that you know, um, you know, it's it's kind it's kind of half about a relationship and half about me, like half about saying you know this these are my <laughs> problems and <laughs> when you leave they get way worse okay. so you know there there's too much noise without you is kind of like saying in my head it's like it you know static and crazy and everything but when you're here it's calm okay you know so that's kind of what it's about and it's it's a real uh wailing like hard hard <laughs> rock tune 
Oh, so. I'll, I'll look forward to hearing it. Oh, thanks. Um, so is there anything else, you know, that we can expect from you in the near future? Any A tour, possibly? or? Yeah, you know, Kara and I were just talking about uh, that we should – we should tour together. That would be the coolest thing. That'd be awesome. Um, I'm definitely playing a lot more live shows now. You know, for a while, it, you know, it's it's just kind of difficult when you're young and you're a girl to just kind of like get your own, yeah. you know, two hour set somewhere. You know, and not a lot you. of people are willing to do that. But um, you know, I've kind of I've built a relationship with a lot of people, um, you know, venues and and such. You know, a lot through my uncle, which is I'm extremely grateful for, um, and. Uh, you know, so I'm going to be playing a lot, a lot more live shows. And then, you know, like I said, releasing a single soon. So that's what's going that's on. Interesting. That's yeah. good. And I'll look forward to seeing that. Then. Thanks. Um, well, Grace, thank you very much for interviewing with us today. Thank you. We're Thanks just for about out of time. Um, I'd like to ask you to do a shout out for us for the station here. What do you what do you say? Sure. Absolutely. OK. So how about something, you know, along the lines, you know, Hey, everybody, I'm Grace Doty, and you're listening to WERW, Real College Radio. Okay. Something like that? All right. Sound good? Yeah. Hey, guys, this is Grace Doty. You're listening to WERW, Real College Radio. Good, good. Now, can can we do one more? Yeah. One more, please. Yeah, Just sure. wait, pause for like a few seconds, and then give it a go. All right. Hey, guys, it's Grace Doty. You're listening to WERW, Real College Radio. That was perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much, Grace. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you later, definitely. Cool, awesome. We'll see you later. W-E-R-W. Real College Radio.